Hey there, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. My name is Maggie Reyoso, and I am a Florida licensed real estate instructor and the proud owner of Maggie's Real Estate Academy. Although I'm based in Florida, I want to let you all know that my videos are meant to help people in all the states. So no matter what state you're in, our videos will help you understand the math concepts so you can crush your real estate state exam. Today, we have an exciting topic that may be a little basic, but these examples I have for you today will definitely sharpen your math skills for your upcoming real estate state exam, because I guarantee you will be seeing these types of problems on your exam in some form. In this video, we'll dive into the concept of area, explore the area formulas, and learn how to calculate area for rectangles, squares, and triangles. So let's jump right in. Before we dive into calculations, let's understand what exactly area represents. In real estate, Area refers to the amount of space inside a given shape or property. It's an essential measurement for determining property size and value. This is why homes are measured in area or square feet here in the US, because it determines the amount of space we have inside our home. Now, let's unveil the area formula that can be applied to rectangles and squares. The formula is as follows area equals length times width. Keep in mind that the specific formulas for squares and triangles will vary slightly, but we'll cover those shortly. A rectangle is one of the most common shapes you'll encounter in real estate. To calculate its area, you'll need the length and the width measurements. Let's walk through an example together using a typical property layout. Number one. Mike bought a property that has a frontage that measures 75 feet and has a width of 130 feet. What is the area of Mike's new property? Okay, so for this one, I see that he has a frontage of 75 feet. So this is 75 feet and it has a width of 130 feet. That is this. So let's say the lot looks like this. Now, it's asking for area. All I have to do now, since our area formula is length times width, I am going to multiply 75 times 130. That equals 9,750 square feet. So the answer is B. Notice how the answers show different units. Remember that area is always measured in square units. Number two, the area of a rectangular fence is 500 square feet. If the width of the fence is 20 feet, then find its length. We're given the entire area, a width, and we're told to find one of its lengths. Knowing the area formula is area equals length times width, I can put 500 here and 20 feet here, and that's going to be times my width. Anytime you have a problem where you're missing one of the sides when it comes to an area of a rectangle problem, all you're going to do is divide. So in this case, we're going to divide by 20. So 500 divided by 20 gives us a new width of 25 feet. So the answer to this one is A. Let's try another one of these just to make sure. Number three, Ted's rectangular lot has an area of 2,280 square feet. What is the length of his property if its width measures 28.5 feet? Let's draw a picture of this lot. It says it has a total area of 2,280 square feet. 
and the width is 28.5 feet. Remember, it does not matter which side you put the length or the width because we are multiplying. And order does not matter when you are multiplying or adding. So this is another problem where we have a missing side. So our area formula is area equals length times width. So our area is 2,280 square feet, and that's going to equal 28.5 feet. And we're multiplying times the length because we got to find the length, right? It says, what is the length of the property? So we're going to just divide by 28.5 feet here. So divide by 28.5 here. So now 2,280 divided by 28.5 equals 80 feet. So the answer to this one is D. Number four, Robert wants to paint the front wall of his house. The wall is 8.5 feet long and 6.25 feet wide. If the cost of painting is $1.26 per square foot, how much will it cost to paint the wall? Let's draw a picture of the wall. So the wall is 8.5 feet long. So 8.5 would go up here and 6.2 feet wide. So 6.25 feet here. So let's find out the area of this figure. So area equals 8.5 times 6.25. The area of this wall is going to equal 53.125. Now, since we see the cost of painting is $1.26 per square foot, remember that when you're given the area, this is now considered square feet. Now that we found the area or square footage of this wall, now we are going to see that the cost of painting is $1.26 per square foot. So we know that the area of this figure is 53.125 square feet, so now I am going to multiply times $1.26 to give me our total cost. So that equals $66 and then it says 937. So remember, since this is five or greater, we're going to raise this one more. So my total cost is $66.94. So the answer to this one is B. Now that we've gotten rectangles mastered, let's move on to squares. A square is a special case of a rectangle where all sides are equal. Its area formula is slightly different, but equally simple. And you can basically still get away with using the same formula that you did for area for rectangles. Okay, so here's the formula for the area of a square. Area of a square is equal to the side squared or side times side. Remember, area is always represented by square units. That is why you will see square feet. That is representation of area. Remember, for area of squares, you can also just use the same formula you use for rectangles, which is length times width. Let's calculate the area of a square using a practical scenario. Number five, a square lot has a width of 42 feet. What is the area of this lot? Remember, since this is a square, all sides are equal. So if this is 42 feet, that means this is going to be 42 feet and this one and this one as well. So since we only need two sides to calculate the area of a rectangle or square, here I'm just going to say area equals 42 times 42. So my total area for this square lot equals 1,764 square feet or feet squared. So my answer to this one is B. 
Number six. The area of a square fenced in yard is 100 square feet. What is the length of the side of this yard? Here is a little trickier of a question. Remember that the area formula for a square is side squared. So here we're given the total area of 100 square feet. Now we have to find out what is the length of each side. When it comes to this, Think of what two numbers multiply to each other to equal 100. Remember, they have to be the same. In other words, what is the square root of 100? We know 10 times 10 equals 100. So therefore, the sides measure 10 feet. So my answer to this one is B. Now that we've conquered the area of a rectangle and the area of a square, let's look into how to calculate the area of a triangle. Triangles might appear a bit trickier, but don't worry, we've got you covered. We'll use a specific formula for triangles to find their area. The area of a triangle is equal to the base times the height divided by two. Let's work through an example that resembles a triangular shaped lot. Number seven, a triangular lot measures 82 feet wide by 106 feet long as pictured below. What is the area of this property? For this example, remember the area formula for a triangle is base times height divided by two. In this example, I'm going to choose the base of 106 and the height of 82, I'm going to multiply those two first, then divide by two. So 106 times 82 equals 8,692, and then divided by two. So my total area for this triangle is equal to 4,346 square feet. So my answer to this question is A. Remember, it could be written as square feet or feet squared. Number eight, Tony's parking lot is in the shape of a triangle with the frontage measuring 63 feet wide and 98 feet in height. What is the area of this property? Since we have a triangle, we're gonna use the area formula for a triangle, which is area equals base times height divided by two. Here we're going to name 63 as the base, the height is 98, and then we're going to divide it by two. So 63 times 98 equals 6,174, and then we remember to divide by two. So my total area for this figure equals 3,087 square feet. So the answer to this one is C. Now that we've grasped the fundamentals, let's put our knowledge into practice with a few more example problems. We'll explore different scenarios mixing rectangles, squares, and triangles, challenging your understanding and ensuring you're ready for any real estate math question on the exam. Now we're gonna look at the area of combined shapes. Remember, area is still represented by square units. Just remember that whenever you see square units, they are talking about area. When we are finding the area of combined shapes, the best way to do this is by taking each shape and finding the area of that shape, then adding them together. Here we see step one says, to find the area of the square or the rectangle. Then step two would be to find the area of the other shape. Step three is to add the two areas together. The same thing goes for if you have a rectangle or square with a triangle. You are to find the area of this shape. Then you're going to use the area of a triangle to find the area of that triangle. Once you get the two areas, step three says to add the two areas together. And that is your final answer. Remember to have your answer in square units. Let's look at some examples. 
Number nine. Mary bought a lot in the shape of an L. What is the total area of Mary's new property? I'm going to take the area of this figure first. The area formula is length times width. So, 6 times 143. So, my total area for this figure equals 858 square feet. Now, let's look at the other shape. The other shape I see is a square, but we're still going to use the same formula. Area equals length times width, so area equals 15 times 15. The total area of that shape is equal to 225 square feet. Now, all we have to do is just add the two areas together. So 858 square feet plus 225 square feet equals 1,083 square feet. So my answer is A. Let's look at another one. This time we'll have a triangle. Number 10, Joey's lot was odd shaped, but the area had to be calculated. What is the total area of Joey's new property? In this example, we see that we have a triangle and a rectangle. So I'm going to take the area of the rectangle first. So the area of a rectangle is length times width. So in this example, the length is 86 feet and the width is 10 feet. So the total area of the square is 860 square feet. Now let's look at the triangle. Remember the area formula for a triangle is base times height divided by two. So the base for this triangle I'm going to say is six, the height is 10, and then remember divided by two. Six times 10 is 60 divided by two equals 30 square feet. So now we just add 860 plus 30 and we get 890 square feet. So my answer is D. Congratulations! You've mastered the art of calculating area for rectangles, squares, and triangles. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep practicing your math skills regularly. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share it with your fellow aspiring agents. We'd love to hear your thoughts and any questions you may have. So please leave a comment below. Also, if you're loving this stuff, we'd love it if you could follow us on TikTok at Just Call Maggie and join our community of aspiring agents wanting to improve their math game. We have a lot more math videos coming for you, so stay tuned and thanks for joining us today. Until next time, keep studying, stay motivated, and ace that real estate state exam. Good luck! If you're looking to elevate your math understanding and boost your chances of acing the real estate exam, I want to share something special with you. Introducing Math Skills for Real Estate Success, your ultimate companion to mastering real estate math packed with comprehensive exercises, step-by-step -step explanations, and invaluable tips. This workbook is designed to help you conquer any math challenge that comes your way. Head over to justcallmaggie.com forward slash shop and grab your copy today. Trust me, this workbook will be your secret weapon in becoming a math whiz in the world of real estate.